Hello, Haiku here for some more Historic Popper. Um, so um, part of the Historic Popper um, Discord, or sorry, the MTG Arena Popper Discord is that we do a weekly um, ladder where you play one match per week for six weeks. And this is uh, week two. Um, so I'm going to bring, since I played it so much during the the midweek magic, I'm going to bring Rectos uh, Madness. So um, I don't really uh, know what uh, John Fee or Jan Fee is playing um, or what he's likely to be on, but I think this is fine in the dark. I got some pressure. I got all my colors. And the Blast Runner looks like it might get in for 6 damage. Ooh, maybe potentially 9 damage in this game. So, looking really, really good. This is going to go ahead and get black mana for next turn. That will keep a Reckoner raid. And we are off to the races. Opponent uh, with a black-blue land to start. So, this makes me think fairies. Uh, or ninjas, depending on what you want to call the deck. Um, that's the only deck I can think of that would play it. Let's see. Still no plays. All right. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, and I think I will faithless loot now. Faithless looting next turn. So let's get a red. Okay, still makes me think fairies. So I have, and the fact that, so if he doesn't play anything, I'm going to go for Fist Sphere. Okay. It is, it is ninjas. Yep. I just had a, a slow start, I guess. So I'm thinking about dumping the fist the fist sphere right now. Um, it does use one of my um, triggers for Goblin Brass Runner, but the fact that I have this in my hand makes me feel really good. All right, so I think we start here. Um, I could also fist fist sphere this turn. First first sphere sphere. Boy, that is a tongue twister. Discard this one. And then I think I want to discard the haster. I, I discard this guy to give him haste. I think, uh, I think the haste damage is going to be pretty relevant. Okay, so let's just get another black producing land, and let's attack in. I like my options next turn. Um, if I get a madness spell, I'll probably do this one. If I don't get a madness spell, I'll probably do this one. I like the amount of pressure I'm putting on the opponent. It's going to make it really difficult for him to attack a ninja in, although it looks like he's deciding to do it. I really want to time this to attack when he does not have a blocker. So if like he doesn't replay his uh, Fairy Seer, then I would, that, I would take that turn to cast the Gargantua. And it's not even cast. 
right? Unearth is an ability, it can't be countered, so if he holds up two mana to counter, then this is a great option. The fact that the Blast Runner has gotten in for, let's see, three, yeah, it's gotten for, uh, for nine, the full nine, and it's gonna get in for more potentially. So he held up mana for counter, so, and he doesn't have a blocker, so I think this is a perfect time to do this. Do I want to leave myself up with a black mana? Oh wait, no, I can't. I can't leave myself with a black mana. Um, in that case, I think I'll just fetch. Uh, I have another red. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Presenting lethal. Figure he has a removal spell for my Scophos Reaver, um, and then he's on one life, and then my Voldaren Epicure can win the game. Yep. All right, take one. All right. It's generally how I expect these games to play out. I feel like this is just so good against counter decks. All right, uh, Mogus is good. Um, I do not want to play with Alms of the Vein. Um, this removal is not good against his ninja. This is fine. Take out his ninja. This is a pretty lights out card against uh, ninjas. Let me put it into the maybe pile. Cast into the fire. Also maybe, maybe relic now. All right, uh, cards that are bad versus ninjas. Actually, what I said about the unearth still holds for that. Oh, under CD's embrace, definitely not a good card. This is a little bit slow. Um. I just worry if he doesn't have one toughness creatures. Wait, cast up to up to two target creatures. So I don't have to have two two creatures to use it. Um, versus terminal agony. I think I cut down on my terminal agony and try to play with these. So this one being instant. I think I, I, I don't play at instant speed. Let's see if uh, Trespasser's Curse shuts down the opponent as much as I think it does, or if I would have just rather a removal spell. See, that's, that's what the trade-off I made is play Trespasser's Curse over removal. Yeah, I'm actually doubting that that Transpasser Curse was the way to go. Oh, this is another going to be a great hand where Blast Runner should do work. No removal, so he's going to be able to ninja ninja away, but um, I think I'm okay with him ninjaing as long as he doesn't get rid of my Blast Runner. Represents so much damage. But yeah, I, I think... Um, Trespasser's Curse is a little bit too cute. Uh, I, th I think I want removal. Eh, maybe not. It's a really close call. Because there's plenty of board states where obviously Trespasser's Curse is, is awesome. 
but I think it's more of like a win more card where a removal spell just can be just generically good in the deck. All right, um, I can play Blast Runner to trade with his uh, ninja. Yeah, seems good. And then I can start uh, killing his stuff. Probably never want to kill the Lantern Bearer. I will take uh, the trade here, um, since I don't have another enabler for the uh, for the blast runner. I, um, I think I just take the trade if he offers it. This one is this ninja is uh, not as scary as the other ninjas. Um, as far as getting back in and out, yeah, this is a solid card in a in a deck that's trying to beat down. Um, ooh, tap sacrifice deals three damage. I don't know what the value of this card is. There's plenty of better stuff to do. It doesn't involve. All right. Um, so uh, I can't. I basically, I just want to make a blocker for his fog walker. Which is here. Kill his flyer. Oh, wait. No, if I kill his flyer, then then his fog walker can get in. But uh, I think that's fine. Um, it can get in, uh, and then if it gets bounced, then it's then it's done with. Uh, yeah. I like keeping the mutt in uh, because um, it can combo with um, my fiery temper. <laughs> so it is a little risky to uh, put the lantern bearer in the yard. Wow, he's just running it out into my Mogus's favor. I mean, even if he has a counter, I feel fine with that kind of trade, unless he's going to put lantern bearer on it. Oh. That's why. <laughs> All right, so a fetch land really it turns on my attacks, and it. Uh, no, I can no. I would have to faithless looting into an untapped land. That's not that. That's that's not that unlikely to happen. So I I can always have that play. So unless he cracks the progenitus, is possible. But, yeah. Okay, so let's get rid of Blast Runner. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what his thinking is with this card. There's some combo I'm missing. Uh, <laughs> so I could scrap your mutt, kitchen imp, or I could just go for the goose gusto and uh, faithless looting. But faithless looting, I'm just gonna play the kitchen imp. <laughs> Scrapyard Mutt doesn't get in. Maybe I won't play Kitchen Imp. Wow, no land. Okay, here. And here, since I didn't get any land. I think. This is going to really encourage him to pop the, the relic, though. So this is unfortunate.
Right. A 2 2 2 2 creature is pretty good against him. Yeah. Fortunately, put too much stuff in the yard to um, have the opponent ignore that. A lot of choices on both sides here. It's, it's very tight right here. One thing I like, um, okay. So he has the card that um, he was minus one, minus one. That's fine. Okay. Or maybe he has another fog walker. Okay. He is only blue up. Uh, and I have a, another blocker. Do I Vampire's Kiss? Vampire's Kiss, does it put lethal? I deal eight damage? No, it doesn't quite put lethal in play. So I think I just uh, double spell this turn. Yeah, I think the Vampire's Kiss is... Oof! That was an awesome draw. Okay, another red. So that was a really hard choice of what to discard. I, I think it's right to play the Scrapyard Mutt and then see if he counters, um, because then, then I have it in the yard. But, um, yeah. The, I think I made the right choice. I think it was more valuable to keep the Vampire's Kiss for to turn on my existing two Blast Runners rather than get a third Blast Runner into play. All right. Again, the, just the amount of pressure I'm putting into play means that the opponent can't really, yeah. And then this card is is not not good enough either. Okay, so this, then I'm going to discard the Faithless Looting, so I play around counter, yeah, okay, GG's, hopefully you enjoyed. Very interesting, very tight matchup where like literally every single mana like really counts for every decision. I think this card was probably the most questionable, but everything else was fine. Because yeah, imagine if he just had a kill spell. Um the you know, any any sort of kill spell that you would think of. Anyway, GG's.